Okay, we're back. We just finished this... Improving this concrete production over here. For our factory. Hopefully... It does that. Let's go back and we're going to... Uh, work on our... Heavy modular frame production. I have a feeling I'm forgetting something already. I just know it. Oh well, I'll remember it eventually. Then you get back up here. Continue sliding all the way back to the factory. Under, over, under, over, and under. Over. You know what? Stop that. Hypertubes. That's what I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, man. So, we need to get some hypertubes up this way. I can just go into the hypertube, go all the way over there, and do stuff. Uh, but first... Concrete is going into upstairs, and we need to somehow get... You know what? Let's do this now. I need a faster way to get places in the factory anyway, so let's just do this now. Where is it? Hypertubes. Now, how is this done? Wait. What does it need? Copper pipe or copper sheets. So basically, it uses the same material as copper pipes. And then the hypertube supports are pretty much the same as the stackable conveyor poles. Okay, so we will use. We will get that first. And we didn't put any in here. So we have to go back. All the way over here. Probably should get that going. This way I don't have to drop all the way down from the third floor and kill myself. That didn't happen by the way. For the record. Okay, let's go. Now, how do we do this? Hmm. Let's just make two. This way we can just... Go one up to the second floor and one up to the third floor. And fuck. Oops. So let's try this again. Alright, so how do we do this? Hyper tube. And then let's go down. connect this somehow connected approaching other clearance okay how is it oh I guess that could be a problem wait let me do something stack two of these here maybe one of these here All right, hyper tubes go here and here. This will go up to the second floor. Or not. Okay, so what's blocking? 
Is it this jump pad? Let's get rid of the jump pad then. Because if we do hyper tubes, we shouldn't need jump pads anymore. I guess we can keep this one. It. Why am I stuck? Hey. Like we're gonna have to do this eventually. Might as well learn it now. Can't. Can't afford it. I need steel pipes. Damn you. Alright, drop down here, get some pipes. We should check to see if this even works. Okay, so we do need to build the entrance, it looks like. What? Wait, what? The hell happened here? Okay. Or we don't actually need this one. Okay, hypertube goes here and here. Hypertube entrance. I go in. How does this even work? Okay, you know what? Let's just connect this first. And then we'll figure it out later. Oh. oh. No more jump pad. Right. Alright, let's walk all the way up here. Oh yeah, I also researched the jetpack. Like, I still have to figure out how to do that. First, hyper tubes because... We're supposed to do that first. Okay, down here. Then we go back up here. Now, can I go in here? Wait, hypertube entrance. Can I go in? Oh, we, we need power. Okay. Let's do this then. If I connect this with power... You're powered up, I can enter this thing. Alright. So I need to power this up as well. There's also something in here. Three steel pipes. Alright. So let's add the entrances. And we'll put some more power poles. Oh, I guess put you here. We Interesting. Okay, so we kind of got the hang of it. Oh, whoa. What? So, never mind. We didn't get the hang of it. 
I should probably heal first before I die again. Okay, so we need to have like separate entrances, like entrances that are not so close to each other. Go. That's the second floor. And this will be the third floor. No? Okay, entrance here, here, and then we'll connect this and this. Okay, so we enter here, we go to the third floor. We Nice. So it's a little bit more complicated than jump pads when going vertically. So I think its real power is going horizontally, like going very far distances. But anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, heavy modular frames, we need to get that done. So, let's check this thing. We have about 70 heavy modular frames in here, and we have 22 computers. It is limited by circuit boards. This thing is limited by screws. We need 200 screws per minute. This needs 130, so we need lots and lots and lots of screws. I think we can handle all of these other ingredients, but for screws, we need more iron ingots. And in order to do that, I think we'll take from this area right here. Because we haven't been around there for a while and we still need to upgrade these things to MK3s. So we can still upgrade this. So let's just do that. And then we will bring the screws all the way up to the third floor. So let's put foundations here. Can't afford. Of course, I need more concrete. And I have concrete in here. Not that much, though. Well, I took a lot of these things. Okay. Let's take all of the concrete. And put the foundations here. So what I want to do is... Hang on. I'm going to take all of the ingots from here. Or not all of the ingots, but I'll branch them off. Need conveyor poles. I just bring it up over here. And what I'm going to do is put splitters all along here. Since all of these are iron ingots, we can just mix a few of them together. And then we'll merge it all together here. Need to line this up first. Or you know, let's add another merger on top here. Yep, yeah, this direction. Okay. I think we got this now. You in here, you in here. This goes in here, and this in here.
We'll put lifts up here. And then we'll go to the third floor. And we'll just bring it up top over here. Oh. Careful! Just a little bit lower. And then we'll connect the iron ingots over here. This looks kind of weird. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we got iron ingots going all the way up to the third floor and then we will convert them to iron rods and screws and then move them along. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll work on that after we get our screws up and running on the third floor. I was thinking of upgrading it now, but... You know, let's get these things consumed first. Foundations. Let's continue building more foundations here. The 8 by ones are kind of hard to aim because they're so small. Okay, we got that. Now I think... Hmm. Should we even put it here? Or should we bring it across? And then just use this area over here. You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's bring it over here and then... Put uh, that one up top and this one on the bottom. And then we'll create our rods and screws over there. Like we have an entire manufacturing of screws down over there, but it's pretty much saturated at this point. The only place that it would go is in this area over here, and there's not much room there anyway, so might as well do it on the third floor because I want these screws dedicated to the production of computers and heavy modular frames. You know what? Yeah, you know, we could just extend it all the way here. That should be sufficient room for our purposes. And here we go, more tedious automation work to be done. But it'll be worth it in the end. At least that's what I tell myself at night. Oh. Let's get on... I need rods. All right, let's go back down without hurting ourselves. Yeah. Like that. Okay, get some rods. And then we go back up. 
We It's much slower going up than going down. Naturally, that's to be expected. So we do need to fill this area in. Okay, let's see here. Construct... Is it constructors or... Yes, it's constructors. Why do I see those arrows down there? Oh. Those are fact manufacturing thingamabobs. Okay. Let's turn this around. Gotta make sure this has ample space. You know what? Since this is for this is dedicated for the heavily modular frames in the computers. We should do some math here. Okay, so this makes 15 parts per minute. Screws makes 40 parts per minute. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Hang on. 15, 30, 45, 60. So four of these can go into six screws if my math checks out so let's do four of these for now Do I have enough room here? No, I don't. And this, this is not aligned. Damn you. A constructor. This is not aligned either. Okay, let's line this up. That's the wrong one. I need a splitter over here. And I need you pointing this way. Wait, no. Get this splitter pointing... No. This way. And over here. And then if I make another four uh, iron rod constructors over here, I'll use the top lane. Get this powered up. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Didn't put much room here.
Okay, connect these first. Yeah, it's making iron rods. All right, then we do the same over here. Gonna disconnect this. Okay, start making those iron rods now. Okay, next we'll make the screws. How do we bounce it? Okay, so two of these will feed three of these. No, that's not gonna work. So not gonna work. All right, so let's do merger here. corner okay so is it here yeah there we go and you feed into here and then after it we will put a splitter We'll do the same thing over here. Merger. Yeah, it's a merger. So this is going to be a lot different from the first set of iron rods and screws that we have on the first floor. I'm just trying to learn a better way of doing things. Alright. Except we don't really have room for this. Let's try it like this. I still have room. Then this doesn't have room over here, but I guess I can use this side right here. here one here and one over we should have space yeah we do <laughs> 